Hello everybody, it is I, Diecasting with Eric here, back here with another Diecast car review, and today, I didn't expect, this is something I did not expect, and I never, didn't see until just now, but I have here three, three, three classic Chevy cars, the one on the left, the Chevy Bel Air, not related to Bianca Belair, the WWE superstar, or the Fresh Prince of Belair, the TV show. In the middle, you have the Chevy Impala, which uh, one of my friends have bought me. So it's a nice little gift from him. Thank you. And also, we have the 1955 Chevy truck, pickup truck. <laughs> so we have here the Chevy Classic Series. And ironically enough, they all are in black. I didn't intend this to happen. I didn't think... I didn't even like see this until just now. Like I'm just like surprised. So uh, how cool is that? You know, this is really nice. This is a place of automotive history and this beautiful diorama. Um, let me take a photo of this. This is beautiful. Let me, let me take a photo. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm just like nerding, nerding out about this. So uh, <laughs> uh, forgive me. But uh, why don't we get started? Let's start with the Bel Air first. So, I'm gonna put it in the other diorama right beside. Okay, give me one second. Okay, here we are. So this is the Chevy Bel Air, of course. Of course, one of the most classic cars. Um, this is probably the most uh, well-known of the classics, unless you wanna count the Camaro, um, which, you know, the 70s has a lot of great muscle cars, especially with those uh, car chases scenes but uh this is a chevy bel air now of course uh the doors both both doors open on the side um i gotta try to make this because this is a little tight here but both doors open so i'll show you those different shots such a beautiful car very classic there's something in the back of it behind the seat i don't know if you guys can see it here but uh let me just see if i can tap my camera you can probably see it yeah, right here, you'll see a little something there. I'm not too sure what it is. It looks like two suitcases in the back. So I'm assuming uh, the trunk is packed up. And uh, I know how that feels. I used to have like a little savan uh, out before it had burned some oil. And I kind of ended up missing it. But that's okay. I have an SUV now. so. But uh, hopefully, I don't say the same thing for that too. Anyway, this is a Chevy Bel Air. Of course, the tail lights. Beautiful, beautiful. 57 Chevy. Nice. Piece of American history right in front of us. Why don't we go get the next car? All right, guys, this is a Chevy Impala. And as you say, as I, as I say, a coworker of mine had gave me this. Both door, front doors open. The back does not open, but that's okay. And of course, the same as the Bel Air, you have two suitcases in the back. Uh, Chevy, you might want to tell me why the suitcases are in the back. No, just kidding. Anyway, this is the back and just a piece of American history right in front of us. This is a beauty, you know, beautiful. Let me turn around and let me see. I just want to make sure I get great camera shots for you guys. The move in, little seat. And the suitcase in the back. Let me see if I can make a dime where you can see the stereo. Yep, see the stereo one from here. Wow. To think. This was, I think, the year since. Let me just check the bottom of it. This is from 1967. Ooh, the 60s are in here now. <laughs> we got the 50s and the 60s. That's nice. So, this is the Chevy Impala. Very big car, and of course, you guys probably wondering, ooh, isn't there like a Impala? That's right. There's many generations of the Chevy Impala, you know? So, and of course, as you all know, that's also a well-known police vehicle as well. And I believe at one point, it was also a taxi vehicle, which I, I believe so. And of course, it's a big car, so there's a lot of room in it. So, uh, yeah, this is a Chevy Impala. Now, 
Let's get on to our last car of the American Chevy series. All right, this is the last of our series, the 57 Chevy. They call it the 57 Chevy Sidestep Pickup. And of course, if you are very familiar with the hot rod scene, this is one of the cars they would definitely customize along with the Bel Air. I believe that Paul might be customized as well in terms of hot rod as well. But this is the pinnacle American classic. Everybody that I see would more likely would see have to have this car like be redone. Okay, we probably keep the classic features to it, and that's what I like. And this diecast model, both doors and the front open. There we go. Ooh. It's very difficult to open though. I will say that. I guess this is really a, uh, I guess it don't open that much. It must be strong, strong doors back in the 50s. <laughs> okay, I guess we'll leave it like this for now. And also, you can just look, I don't know if you see the drive door. Let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, here we go. Now it's not, it does not have the suitcases like the others, but uh, still, I mean, oh, it got a clutch in, a clutch in the middle. Let me see what I can do. I'm gonna do it for the passenger side. There's a clutch inside the middle of the car. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. There we go. You see it right there. That's it right there, the clutch. And of course, like I said, it is a side step pickup. Close the door. And it's right there. So it's a pickup, has stuff in it. Um, I'm gonna move this a little up so you can make it look a little downward angle. So right here, there we go. So that is now the back does not open, I don't think. Nope. This is 1955 Chevy size to pickup. Beautiful piece of American history right in front of us. It doesn't get any better than this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm just mesmerized that I have three classic Chevy cars and more mesmerized is that they're all in the same color. <laughs> and you can't make this up, but uh, pretty nice to see. You know, we just gotta remember the classics, the oldies, but goodies, as they would say, you know. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate you guys checking in and watching in the channel. And I hope that it make you smile a little more because we need a lot of smiling, especially today. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and you know, be safe, be well to you and your families and hope to see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye.